Hey guys, it's Jess here with Hunt Shack. I just thought I'd do a quick video to show you guys the new Burris Eliminator that we got from our friends over at Baroda Australia. So we picked this up yesterday from the gun shop. This will be going on our 300 Win Mag, which is a Tika. Um, we'll be taking that over to New Zealand for the women's hunt that we're doing next year. So I'll open it up and show you guys what it looks like. The Burris Eliminator 3. So this is the 4 to 16 by 50. Got a 50 mil objective on the end there, and you've got four to 16 magnification as well. So it's got some decent magnification for some longer distance shots, which is good. It's um, got a built-in laser range finder, and you program your ballistics for your load into that for your specific rifle. So that all gets programmed into there, and then it calculates your traje trajectory compensation for you. That will show you your compensation for your shot. So once you are lined up on a target, you press the button, if I can do that. It's not gonna work well because we're inside a house, obviously. Um, but you press the button and your distance will appear up there where those flashing lights are. And then your those dots, you'll, it'll show up one dot to give you your compensation. This here is just an extra little piece that comes in the box as well. It is a trigger that you can mount on the side of your rifle. So it plugs into one of these little ports here. You unscrew that, that's where your button is to press for your range finding. It screws into there, with this little bit. And then you mount this on the side of your, oh, sorry. You mount that on the side of your rifle and you can just press it and you have got your range. So it's a pretty cool little feature. So you don't have to worry about finding these buttons way up the front of your scope. You can have this down where your hand is and just press on it. Um, one of the things that we already really like about this is that it just operates as a normal scope. It's clear glass ret reticle, um, there's no digital screen or anything like that that you have to worry about. So if everything fails when you're out in the field, you can still use this just like a normal scope, which is awesome. Um, we've had a few quest questions about its low light capabilities, so we will test that out when we get down to the range um, and have a look at it probably at dusk see how well it picks up the light and things like that. It's nice and light. We weighed it yesterday and it was only 800 grams. So I think it was about 840, 840 grams. So not too heavy. doesn't add too much weight to your rifle. I don't know if you guys can see there, but it also bolts straight onto your Picatinny rail or Weaver rail. So you don't need rings for it as it has got some of these bits and pieces around it, which would make it difficult. We'll get this put on our 300 wind mag and we'll get back to you guys with some of the test results when we take it down to the range. Also guys, if you have any questions of your own about the virus eliminator, just let us know in the comments below and we'll have a look out for those things when we're down at the range with it and we'll get back to you with an answer. Thanks for watching guys. And if you do like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram while you're at it.